I'm John Amoroso and just retired this past March. We have a community supported agriculture program here. The site we're on is 2.2 acres. I only live like a mile from here, but I wouldn't come to this area 25 years ago. It was kind of drug capital, murder capital, everything else going on. But now it's kind of a place where you have pioneers to come into the area to move here. So you can't even find housing here now. Blocks that had community gardens, those little neighborhoods developed faster. Those areas became more desired. Once someone starts growing and selling on a market, all of a sudden they realize that folks are interested in their product and they start perfecting what they're growing. I can do something, I feel kind of empowered that I'm, I'm good. And that I can even teach people how to do some of these growing techniques. And there's a lot of people who have retired that are growing or making various products that are selling at the market and kind of found their second calling in life. Everybody is meant to do something in life. Maybe it takes just a little longer to, to do that. Community Garden was more of a social building thing in the 70s. Taking back a lot on your block kind of unified that block. The next step is they do a block association. They actually have a political voice. It's the startup point for other things happening. It's the startup point for other social activities in the community. It brings people together who then take on other issues in the community. Other issues that are start off from that spot, that urban spot where we're growing food, where people come to.